Hey guys. hey guys, and welcome back to the Are We Over podcast. I'm Allie. I'm Addie. And today we are going to be diving into a friendship breakup, losing your friend, and how to kind of overcome it. I feel like people don't really talk about friendship breakups as much as it needs to be talked about because no matter, you're going to lose a friend. Like some mm-hmm. point in your life, you're going to lose a friend. So you need to know what to do, what to expect, and how to overcome it. Right? (laughs) Okay. I think most people don't really talk about friendship breakups that much. You just hear about your regular boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But today, that is not the case. We are diving into all things friendship breakups. Mm -hmm. We've had experience. (laughs) Quite a a bit. Um, But yeah, we're going to kind of dive in to why we outgrow them and stuff like that yeah. so first we're going to talk about um reasons for a friendship breakup why you guys are like falling out i think one of the main reasons is that you guys are just like you know you change you guys change you guys lose interest in something and you guys the values and that you guys had are like not there anymore you outgrew the person pretty much both of you guys mm-hmm. outgrew each other that's what i think the main thing is I feel like when people think of friendship breakups, they like, oh, this person, like, betrayed you or something. But no. that's not, like, the same. That doesn't always happen. Yeah. Because, like, thing. especially if you've been friends with this person since, like, say, high school or something. Yeah. It's going to change over time as you get older. Like, mm-hmm. you're just not interested in the same things that you bonded over in the past. Yeah. And so you just grow up. But, I mean, like, there are times when, like, you guys have ended a friendship because they did do something to you, you know? <laughs> or you did something to them. Yeah. We're not always It's not, not always, always perfect. <laughs> no. And it's okay to admit that you're wrong. You know? There might be some misunderstanding. You guys may like lack trust with each other. Something might have happened. Mm. And you betrayed each other. That's a crazy. little betrayal. I don't think I've ever had a little betrayal moment. Have you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Allie has experience. I don't think I've ever been, like, betrayed. Yeah. I We asked you guys questions um, on our Instagram, and we saw that you guys have experience with um, these, which is why I'm bringing this up, like, the reasons, because I saw you guys comment on these. Another one was toxic behavior. That was a lot of them I saw. Like, a lot was, Ooh. like, toxic behavior, along with lack of trust. But toxic behavior was, like, this person is just treating you like shit. And but, like, what do you talk about, like, there's different levels to toxicity yeah. in a friendship. I have my own thing, which I don't know if it's necessarily, like, that's toxic, but looking back at it, it was it was very toxic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's just dive into the first topic. Why We've got a little that? whiteboard over we here, do. by the way. So if you see us glancing and that I'm way. And I'm looking at my notes. So if you see that. Yeah. Um, why is it so hard to get over a friendship? Why is it so hard to get over a friendship? <laughs> you know, you're with that person 20... If it's your best friend. We were talking about this earlier, like your levels of friendships. If this is like your best friend, mm-hmm. you're with that person like all the time. You tell that person everything. Your secrets, your crushes, like they everything. Know everything. Like random stuff that you're doing throughout the day like they yeah. just know like you're used to having them with you all the time yeah, like all the time and so all the time. and you've been through so much with your best friend that it's like you can't imagine just losing them yeah like you guys been through a lot if you guys are like actually close. like close yeah because yeah. like i think that i don't know you've just been you've just spent so much time with them they're they're a big part of your life and who you are like if you're having struggles at home at school Mm -hmm. a guy another friend like who are you going to your best friend and so you're just used to having them like as your outlet you know even if you do like have a boyfriend or something it's just not it's not the same it's not the same at all as having a best friend so what are we doing why is it so hard to get over it okay (laughs) (laughs) but you you, sometimes like you just grow up with that person and you just can't imagine letting them go and i think there's no, like, it's always going to be hard, I think. Unless you just weren't good friends with the person. Then it's yeah. Like, well, that's what we were talking about, like, the levels of friendship. Like, your best yeah. friend, obviously, like, if you're close to that person, it's going to be rough. But 
then you just have like kind of your everyday friends. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing? Like, like sometimes like, you guys just aren't close and you guys are just friends in my life. So whatever. Yeah. Like, like, then like you, you were my friend and then now you're <laughs> not. Like, you were my <laughs> friend? Know. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. But those friendships I feel like don't really affect you as much. So I had this friend whenever I started college, which actually it took me a while to make friends, but that's a whole, that's a yeah, whole different podcast. Stuff oh, college needs its own episode. Yeah, Anyways, I was friends with her and like over the summer we were super close and then into the fall semester we were super close and then she got a boyfriend and obviously she's spending a lot of time with them or him. And so we didn't really hang out that much. And then over... Whenever the semester was ending, we were walking our separate ways, like to our cars, and she's like, "All right, I'll keep in touch with you." I was like, "It's over. <laughs> like it's over." Yeah. Because if you plan to continue that friendship, then you'll be like, "All right, like I'll text you and we'll yeah. hang out." Not, I'll keep yeah. in touch with you, which she didn't. Um, <laughs> like, I feel like with so many friendships, you get the vibe that it's like ending. Yeah. Sometimes the second she that. got the boyfriend and we like slowly like we quit hanging out yeah and I was like okay like and I'm not gonna cause a scene about it like if you if that's who you choose to spend your time with like that's on, that's you, on you and yeah. like yeah. I don't really know what to say about that but when she said that I was like okay and it didn't really affect me because it's not like we had only been friends for like five or six months so yeah. it like wasn't the end of the world but still and then over Christmas <laughs> the weirdest thing did I show you that I think text message. About it. After she made the little we'll go our separate way comment, <laughs> she was like texting me over Christmas. She's like, hey, we need to meet up and exchange gifts. And I was like, I didn't even buy you a gift because you were you didn't act like you wanted to see me again. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh, okay. And then I sent her my schedule. I legit did not hear from her for three weeks. And she texted and she was like, sorry, I was busy, but we can still meet up. And I was like, you were busy for three weeks? Yeah. Okay. So that one, I felt it coming the whole time. So I was just like, okay, it's fine. But still. I didn't say, I think with all my old friendships, I always felt something shift. Yeah. There's always <laughs> a shift. Always, I feel like you can usually, sometimes you can't tell some. Sometimes Actually, yeah. Because one time I had like a big, it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Everyone that I've had is kind of, it you fills can, up. Mm -hmm. With my old friend, my most recent friend breakup, let me say that, because I don't want like anyone else to listen and be like, oh, it's about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but with my most recent like friend breakup, I we were friends since all high school. And she was my best friend. Like I literally I loved her. And then I felt like towards the middle of senior year, I felt us like not growing distant, but like the vibe wasn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. The vibe. Like, the feeling just Fine. wasn't there anymore. I don't know. Like, I was like, yeah, we're never seeing each other again. Did we graduate? <laughs> and, like, I would joke with her. I'd be like, we're not, when you go to Dallas, like, we're never seeing each other again. And she was like, hey, yeah, we're not. We're never speaking again. And I was, and like, I was yeah. like, no, I'm being but serious. Like, we're never seeing each other again. I get the feeling that we're never talking to each other again. And I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I was correct. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, what's your experience with it not building up? Like, you it happened out of nowhere. It's the trio thing, dude. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, you everything. Know, even with trios for me, I, I knew. I was like, we're closer. This is not going to work out for her. Well, <laughs> not like in a bad way, but like, I, like that's just okay. how it is. Like, I'm like, it's not going to work out for her. Mine was, I knew it would end at some point. Mm -hmm. I didn't know when. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting it. Do you want the story? Yeah. Okay. Story. You know the people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, during high school, obviously, so, my best friend, we had grown up together, um, super close, like, and then as we got in middle school, she introduced me to one of her other, like, really close friends, and they had been friends for a long time, too, mm -hmm. and so then we got into high school, and it kind of became, like, a trio, it's because, like, we both were connected to her, and so then we became good friends. Mm -hmm. Anyways, a lot of... Like, throughout the years, a lot of trying to spare each other's feelings. Yeah. And I think that's the issue with trios, is because whenever it's just, like, two of you hanging out, it's like, I want to spare your feelings, I want to, sp and then, you know. Yeah. And it's just a lot to keep up with, I think. And yeah. eventually, like, everyone, someone's going to get their feelings hurt at some point. Both of us did. And eventually, after we graduated, I... <laughs> I will take credit. 
I kind of blew up on everyone. Mm -hmm. But it was just like, it was pent up feelings throughout all the years. And eventually I had like my breaking point. Yeah. All these pent up feelings throughout the years kind of just exploded. Mm -hmm. And I was like, sorry. Like, <laughs> I, I, was, I, I, spoke, character. I spoke my <laughs> truth for a minute there. <laughs> Anyways, so then we kind of quit being friends. And it was weird because like I said, one of them was my best friend. But I kind of like lashed out on her too because I was like, just like things that had happened that hurt yeah. me. Anyways, so that was grieving. We came back, obviously, like we're perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, but then my other friend, it's like acquaintance vibes. Yeah. Like we're not, it will, like even we work at the same place together and it's just like, hey. Yeah. But it's weird because at one point we were really close. Really close. Yeah. yeah. And then it's kind of like, I mean, no harsh That's feelings, crazy. obviously, but like, yeah. It's like, we're not close. Yeah. yeah. I think I think it's okay to, like, be friends with a person for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Because every friend that you have now, they're not going to be your friend forever. No. Like, maybe a negative Nancy, whatever. But I just feel like some... <laughs> Us, we won't be friends in two years. <laughs> I give it two months. <laughs> no, but, like, actually, like, some people are just there to be in your life for that certain amount of time. I think with my old friend, I was only supposed to have her for high school, and that's it. That's the thing. Like, with the other friend, like, like that was you got me through high school. You were there for me. I yeah. will not discredit that. Like, you yeah. were there. You Even were after good everything friend. she did. Like, I'm not going to discredit. Because she was, like, I, st I loved her. Like, that was yeah. my girl. You but, can't like, just like, discredit them no, and, like, disregard yeah. the friendship. Like, no, thank and that, you. Yeah, that's another thing. When you guys are going through a friendship breakup, you can't be like, fuck. I mean, at first, I, I will admit, I was like, fuck that bitch. Like, she's a <laughs> bad person. But then, like, then I was like, oh, my God, I miss her. I should text her and be like, hey, girl. <laughs> hey. And then I was like, you know what? Like, we weren't supposed to be friends. It was fine. I think it's okay to be angry. But I don't think it's okay to disregard everything that you guys went through. You know? No. Well, that's what I think. I think you guys need, you need to balance that out. Don't be yeah. too angry, but don't be too, like forgiving yeah you know if something bad did happen you just to have you to accept it and yeah. that's the next thing you've got to accept and move on you've got that's the best thing you can do be like okay we were friends we aren't friends anymore and cool. if you guys do come back together then you guys come back together if you don't and that's don't when you know it's it. meant to be like yeah it's like don't do not push it <laughs> see that's like, the thing with the trio like we two. came back mm -hmm. and then i'm like okay obviously but like if it doesn't come back naturally, I'm not going to force it. Yeah. And I, that was another thing me and the other friend were talking about. We are like, it's never going to be a trio again. Like, yeah. and I don't want it to be, quite yeah. honestly. <laughs> like, Guys, trios don't work. Trios ever. don't work. So go I've, ahead and save yourself the time. Yeah. Run for the hills if you're in a trio. I've only been in trios, like, all my life until, like, sophomore year. Of high school. Even then, like, it, I was kind of, like, in a bigger group, like, in high school. But even then, it was, like, you like more people than you like the other people people you know like people are always mm -hmm. gonna be closer yeah than the other person and it's just not good for anyone because then the other person is left out then it's like well my fault yeah <laughs> like, like my bad but like we just aren't close like that yeah but it's like i don't know they you just can't like, help who you at the end of the day you're gonna fall apart like the <laughs> gonna fall apart. end of the day i cannot think of it one chair that works out even in tv shows like they all have a falling out and that's just the way it is like cheer yeah, right. unless it's like you're super close with like a sibling or something and like one of them has a friend. Yeah, like, I don't even know that's me you and Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> We're a trio that works. <laughs> Only because I can be a jerk to Jordan. Not really like, though. Jordan hasn't been talking lately and I'm like, okay. He's really, really focused on golf. Jordan, if you're watching this, he's in this golfing era. I thought you said golf. <laughs> <laughs> he's going I was golf. Like, going golf. <laughs> makeup and stuff he's like listening to me like what? like the earrings <laughs> oh my god i have a photo i have to show you after it's like a snapchat filter and he has like a collar and like black lips i literally have to show you after i was gonna show you but it's on my phone remember he put that choker on uh, <laughs> it's so easy to make fun of sorry jordan <laughs> off topic sorry anyways, anyways. <laughs> months since my friendship breakup and I don't think I'm completely over it like I am but then I think about it I'm like damn <laughs> like, 
she like, still she really, gets angry. Like, because she threw out the, out the fucking window. For what? A guy that she was only with for, like, a month? If that. Like, it, it was just like, damn. <laughs> like, well, I, That's the thing. Like, Don't throw your friendships away over a dude, guy. Oh, my. I feel like with a lot of friends and, like, friend groups and stuff, you always... Something like someone gets a boyfriend. Gets a, someone, yeah, someone gets a boyfriend and it's like, fuck. It's like, oh. <laughs> It's like, here she goes with a boyfriend. When one of my friends get, like, a boyfriend on, like, a talking stage, I'm like, what the fuck? I will admit. <laughs> I'm not in a talking stage right now. Sorry, you're married. I am married. <laughs> no, but I'm like, oh, my gosh. When Olivia, I, when Olivia got a boyfriend, I was like, what? I've never seen her again. I was like, no, whenever you checked this out one day, and you were like, I'm actually about to commit to him. And I was like, who was I talking about? keep a guy like i always <laughs> screw it up somehow anyways that's a different that's a whole different podcast that's a, different, that's a whole different like five episodes podcast, we're the problem <laughs> it's me we're the we we name it anti-hero <laughs> yeah um <laughs> oh no but how long you know there's no really time frame of when you get over a friendship it's just like when you get over you get over you're gonna think i feel like i feel like i'm always gonna think about this oh. friendship because i'm always gonna be like like what would have happened if like we stayed friends you know? Nothing good. <laughs> I just, like, wonder. I'm like, I mean, now I feel like if we would have stayed friends, I feel like we would have fallen out anyway. Mm -hmm. Just because she goes to college or somewhere else. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't have spoken to each other. Yeah. And then she would have gotten another friend, so I'd be like... <sighs> Me with Ruby. Real. Me with Ruby. Sorry, Ruby. I'm jealous of her other friends, to be honest. And I tell her that. And I yeah, it's not like we're just like, this is a surprise to Ruby. Like, no. Oh, it's, she knows. It's a known <laughs> fact, like... We don't want to hear about him. We don't, don't care. care. <laughs> out of time, out of mind. Yeah, like, it doesn't exist to me. But, yeah, there's no... But also, what we said earlier, it depends on level of friendship. Yeah, because right? that one girl, I was, like, over that. I was, like, okay. Yeah. And like, then, but, like, when me and my best friend weren't talking, like, that was then that's like rough. Yeah. And then, it, yeah. the thing, it's, like, should I text them? Yeah. Dude, after everything, even though it wasn't my fault, and, like, I left her on red, like, like, no contact. Like, I'm mm -hmm. the one that's like... But I was like, man, what if I just said, hey? Like, <laughs> what would happen? Like, like what do what they happen? come back as easily as guys do? They do. All it takes for a guy is, hi. No. All it takes from a guy is just... An you know, Instagram typing. story. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, I wanted to tell a funny story. What? <laughs> the guy, the blue-collar boy. Yeah. We were playing, like, a little game. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> We were playing like a little game, so like he was started reading my game. stories, uh -huh. and me, I was like, oh, he likes me, like he wishes he <gasps> still talked to me, mm. and I was like, okay, and so he posted something on his Instagram story, and I viewed it, and I was feeling like silly, and I just went up. No, I um. liked it, <laughs> and then he went and he liked my mm -hmm. one of my Instagram posts mm -hmm. that he hadn't liked yet. And so, the next morning, I was like, okay, I need to see if this is, like, a coincidence or if he's playing the game, too. Yeah. So, I posted something on my Instagram story, mm -hmm. and he liked it. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I got him right where I want him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then went from there. But. Okay, well, last night, I think it was last night, I stood up on this guy's. Ew. My talking. <laughs> ex talking stage. I stood up on his door, and I was like, because he posted a selfie. So, I stood up, and I was like, you're cute. I was like, you look cute. Who? No! I wish, man. You know, if it was him, I would have done more of a stuff. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Not like that. Like, I would have just said more. But anyway. But I slid up my sword and I was like, you look cute here. And he was like, mwah. With the little kissy emoji. And I said, okay, girly pop. And I was complimenting you again. Okay, girly pop. <laughs> anyway. Not only does it depend on the level of friendship you were on with that person, to like accept the fact that it's over and move on, but it also, you feel it coming, like we yeah. were saying. Like and sometimes, and you've already grieved it by then. It's like, okay, this is about to end. Yeah. But then like, but then you go through like two grieving stuff. Yeah, because it's, like, it's like, oh, now they're actually gone yeah. and I actually don't talk and to them. And then like you go into a whole other thing. And mm -hmm. It's like, it's yeah. bad. It's like change is bound to happen. You're not, you're, 
Like, you can't expect everyone you know to stay in your life forever. Like, something's gonna happen. You guys can't... If, like, you and your bestie, like, the only thing you guys have in common is the past, you need to go. Yeah. You need to go. Because there's nothing... There's no room for you to grow. I think with a lot of people, it's just, like, you guys have been friends for that time. You guys are both, like, grown with each mm -hmm. other. Now you guys can go. Like, you both got experience from each other. Yeah. If you can go. <laughs> like, it's They were the there times. where they needed to be. Yeah. Y'all had y'all's friendship. And sometimes you just split up. Like, you grow apart. Yeah. That's a, it's a thing. It happens to everyone. I think we should talk more about how, like, your friendship with a person when they did you wrong. I feel like we need to talk about that a little bit more. Like I said, I haven't been betrayed. No. Have I? Well. <laughs> Me. I, I'm like, have I been betrayed? <laughs> I was yeah, no. I betrayed you. Oh. I think when you've been betrayed by your friend, it's like I think it's like the worst out of all of them. Cause then it's like it yeah, you expect nowhere. it from a guy. Yeah, you expect like I expect everything bad from a guy. I have no <laughs> expectations for that. But like from like your best friend, it's like. It's like Whoa, okay. What are you doing? Like maybe you heard her talking about you in the halls or something like that at school. Or maybe I don't know, she has a crush on your ex or something. Like she has a crush on your crush. Oh my god, speaking of wait, oh. well, speaking of friends like that, if your if your friend um <laughs> you if you tell your friend that you have a crush and then they do everything you know what, let's talk about signs that you should leave a friendship. Oh we'll go back to the other one real quick. When your friend, when you tell your friend you have a crush, and then they start talking to your crush, out of nowhere, mind you, they've never even spoken to each other before. Right? But all of a like sudden, you care yeah, about them now? But all of a sudden, they're like best friends, and she's up his ass, and it's like, oh. And then she's like, yeah, we snap like all the time. Oh my god. And then you're, cr and then he confesses to her. Me with like all the guys I have a crush on with my other friend. She's still my friend though, so it's like, well, kind of. <laughs> I have no idea who she's talking about, but oh, dude, she flirted with every she flirted with every guy that I had a crush on, every single guy, and she would snap them and be like, or sometimes, oh, the worst thing would have been dude. they would play it off as, well, I'm just trying to like talk to them about oh you, my like gosh, no, yes. you are not, you want him, dude. If you if you see your friendship getting with that, you need to leave because because yeah. they're not doing because they're disrespecting you. Number one, if they're not gonna freaking not talk to your crush or something then like they're obviously gonna do something else to you in the future so that's like yeah. another warning sign like okay another sign that you should leave a friendship is when they don't care about you at all anymore yeah. and it's all them 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 their life yeah what's going on in their life like do you even care like am i even here like, yeah because like there's, there's not, like who wants to be with someone that talks about themselves 24 yeah i don't know how we're <laughs> Because it's like, who cares about your life? Like, it's over. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> well, it's just like, Moving it on. shows, like, you don't care. Like, if you you're don't friends with care. someone, you care. And or, like, when you're telling them a story, and they're like, yeah, that's great. But anyway. Yes. <laughs> it's like, like okay. okay. Okay, another thing I think you should leave. When the person is becoming too codependent on you. Not codependent, too dependent on you, like, overall. Like, they expect you to be there from 24-7. As a best friend... I understand being there for your friend like 24 7 whatever but at the end of, sometimes you can't you know realistically you can't be there for your friend all the time and when they get like too dependent like that and they're like well you should have been there for me and it's like sorry girl i was asleep it was like 11 30 at night and i was at work like i can't be there for you forever <laughs> you know <laughs> like sometimes you just have to yeah i'm like am i too dependent on ali i'm sitting here thinking no but i don't think we are i'm not because it's not like Cause it's not like you're up my ass. No, and I'm not like dying. Cause someone was. Oh. Yeah. Like it was real bad. Oh. Like follow me like a dog, real bad. Oh. And I was like, okay, I need just I just need. <laughs> we. Uh, like, one thing close. we're together a lot. Yeah. But it's not like. But like I don't. It's not like I have oh. to see Allie or like oh or my like, gosh she wants to hang out again. Or like, <laughs> yeah. And I, like, we're oh not like gosh. constantly texting each other yeah. either. Which I had to, I just feel like your space and a friendship is so important. Like having your own personal, like you don't have to yeah. be together forever to be friends, you know? Like, also, whenever you're like not together 24 7, it makes the time that you do spend with them like, like more valuable. Yeah. Yeah. 
and that's something that needs to be talked about more because I feel like people are like you have to be a good best friend like all the time mm -hmm. like are oh, you guys really best friends you're not together 24-7 it's like, like yeah we are <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have like it's not that big of a deal I bet our friendship's better than yours you real <laughs> and it is and it is I found out that um with some of my friendships um sometimes I say things and they take it like so personal mm -hmm. and I'm like it's not well I didn't mean it like like I'm just joking. Like I'm not being a like rude. I'm just like like okay. Sometimes I do say rude, but if you're gonna I mean, be like we upset, bully I each can't. other, yeah, that's what I mean. Like I bully my friends a little bit, but it's they bully me back. We have a healthy balance. <laughs> we have a healthy balance. Like twice if you need help me. <laughs> I can't be friends with people who are like really sensitive. Yeah. Like which thank God I've grown as a person. Thank God I used to be like the sensitive type. Can't really. We know. <laughs> but now I'm just like, okay, I don't care. Like, I feel like I've been through so much. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, it like, doesn't hurt my feelings anymore. Free ball life. That's she likes the free ball life. I do like the free ball Balls life. Balls to the wall. Ah, no one says that. <laughs> no, because she I said what in the group chat. And Olivia was like, I say balls to the wall. <laughs> and I was like, enough for me. Like, I. Because like, I swore it was no. <laughs> Olivia, I say balls to the wall. <laughs> Because I know it's not me. <laughs> no, and I was like, I know I don't say that. Like, and I was like, Alice. I was like, have, and then like you were like gaslighting me because so I was like, have I said that like multiple times? And I was like, I don't know what comes out of my mouth, y'all. <laughs> I, I just say stuff and it just comes out. This whole everything we've said so far. <laughs> yeah, dude. When I when we went back and watched the other episode, I was like, I don't remember saying that. I don't. I don't remember being there. <laughs> nope. No, but should we talk about like the messages? Yeah, we're coming to an end. We are. Okay, so God. I asked some questions. Let me see what questions I asked on our Instagram. Which, that is how we're interacting with you guys, yes. is through Instagram. It's actually mostly Allie because Homegirl has a 40 hour I'm in my social job. media manager era. But I do ask questions on there sometimes relating to the podcast episode. So please give your feedback on these like stickers because that's how we're like knowing what you guys want to hear, what you want to yeah. talk about. It's just how we interact with you guys. So we're gonna go through them. So one of the questions I asked was, how did you get over it? And I'm just gonna read some things and then we can talk about it. Do you want me to read yours or no? <laughs> I said I did it. <laughs> yeah, I said I didn't get over it. You know, some pressure breakups you're not gonna get over, I think. Mm -mm. I can never gonna get over it. You're still gonna think, maybe you're over it, but you're still gonna think yeah. about it. Okay. It's not like ever like completely like yeah. Another person said, "I block that person on everything." I feel like depending on sometimes the way that you it have went, to. yeah, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes <laughs> I never block, but you shouldn't take that advice. If you um need to block someone, then block them. I don't ever block anyone because I'm silly. I never block because I want you to see me. I want you. I to want see you to see me free balling. <laughs> Balls to the wall. <laughs> No, but if you feel like you need to block that person, then block them. Right. I'm gonna talk. Means. I feel like in other podcasts, I'm gonna talk about me not blocking anyone. But like, if you, but like, don't take that advice. <laughs> like, if actually, don't take them. advice either of us give you. Real, like, don't. We don't have it figured out. No. Um. Another person said, after trying so hard to keep the friendship together, <laughs> I wash my hands of that bitch. And you should. This is the same person who blocked. <laughs> Real. You should. I mean, if you feel like the friendship was that bad, then block them everything and move on. Yeah, if it was that toxic, yeah, then just move on. Just, just like, pretend it never happened. Move on. If they were that bad to you, like, like good reddits. Another person said, by being around real friends and music, I feel like music has a situation for everything. Yeah. Like, it has a song oh, for everything. I love music. That's its own separate podcast. Yeah. Um, being around real friends, I feel like once you drop. Like, when I dropped my old friend, then I was like, wait a minute. Because I thought I was alone. Like, I thought, damn, I really have no one else. Mm -hmm. Like, I had my other friends, but it just wasn't as, we weren't as close. Like, yeah. And then when she left, I was like, wait, I actually do have other friends. And I've kind of, like, blocked them out a little bit. Like, because when I was with were... them. Yeah. Because when I was with my best, best friend, I just kind of ignored them. Because I was like, well, I have her. Like, they're just there. Mm -hmm. Like, they're still, they're still my best friends, but, like, she's, like, my main mm -hmm. one. 
But then when we stopped being friends, I was like, I don't know why I had that mindset because they've been here this entire time. Yeah. And I've never gone into an argument like that with any of them before. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know why I set myself up like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, someone said, I kind of never did get over it, honestly, which we talked about that. Yeah. And she said, I wish we were still friends, but she's trash now. Yeah, I feel that way, too. Sometimes, I, like, I mean, like you said, you've been through so much yeah. with that person. It's like... You just look always back, you're wish like, things were different. I wish it would have worked out. Yeah. But if they're not good for you and you're aware yeah. of that, like, please, by all means, do not go back. Then don't go back. If you're aware that she's trash and that she's not a good person, don't. There's no reason to go back and talk to her. Someone said, I cried for months and then finally just got over it with this emoji. You know what? Yeah. Sometimes you just need to break something or cry or just write a whole thing thing about what you would say to them you know right that's a good thing write it out yeah write it out write it out that works cry. for everything like, write out cry go um hit a tree you know take your anger out like go do something yeah and then you'll feel better once you have all those after you get your emotions out it's like okay yeah it's also rant, like weird how one day you wake up and you're just over something yeah like that works with me like guys it takes friends time. everything i'm just yeah. like whatever it takes time it's not always immediately like mm -mm. you know but one day you're gonna wake up and be like what okay that was so, that on was to the next deal. like yeah. it's fine another question i asked was why did you stop being friends with that person and what happened this person's <laughs> i'm genuinely convinced this person is a full narcissist dude i oh. feel that one I swear, like, okay, I kind of, like, I guess, like, people could say the same about me. They could definitely but, say the, hello? Okay, but not as bad as, like, other people that I know. Like, at all. So, oh. I, <laughs> I, feel not, that I one. understand that one. Because I think so, too. Loops back around to the fact, it's like, they don't care about you. Because yeah, they're yeah. too busy being a narcissist, and it's me, me, me. Yeah, and they literally... They play the victim for everything. I can't. Anyway. No. Yeah. Like. Anyway. <laughs> oh. This anyway. one's wild. Yeah. This one's kind of a lot. She stopped talking to me out of nowhere, but I found out she slept with my ex. So that hurt. That. We were talking about that earlier. Like being, being betrayed by a different Yeah. Friend. Um. Fuck her. <laughs> Number one. Number two. I feel like. She was never your real friend. Yeah, if she stopped talking to you, I don't know what. Like, I feel like she was, like, plotting that. Which, I've actually done that. Like, sometimes I just quit <laughs> talking to someone. I've actually slept with my ex. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, wait. It was me. I'm who she's talking about. <laughs> she's like, also, her name was Addie A.K. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've not done that. But I, like, sometimes, which, my bad. My bad if I've ever ghosted you, but Ooh. sometimes I'm not I like apologize. I just the friendship falls off, and I get tired of putting effort in, and I'm too lazy and to text you and tell you that. Sometimes deserve a goodbye. No, like, you don't because you haven't been a good friend. There's a reason I'm ghosting. Yeah, that goes for relationships as well as your friendships. You don't have if you're in a relationship, way. though, don't don't ghost. Oh, <laughs> well, how like just mm -mm. I mean, free ball. <laughs> YOLO. I ghost all the time. And okay, I will admit like my ghosting happens like really bad with both friendships and like re romantic relationships. And I'm aware of that. Am I gonna fix my problem? No. No, it's not. I'm putting me first. Anyway. Anyways, back to that. Sometimes I, I will admit I have been the problem because like a couple of times there's I just quit talking to you. But also yeah. like you clearly don't care enough to keep to up the sure. effort with yeah. me either so but like i'm such a like if someone ghosted me i'd be like that's the end of it yeah you know? it's just move on like, just move <laughs> like, on. Let, like let's just like, keep and that's i think why i'm okay with ghosting because i'm like they'll be fine <laughs> yeah because i'm like wait because i'll they'll, figure it out they'll literally get over it yeah it's not the <laughs> sometimes your friendship scary. ends because your friend gets married ends because she hates her liberal friends <laughs> that's too Can silly I keep that in? yeah because <laughs> she gets mad no because 
that's real though. Real? Like, you what are you doing getting married at 20? Yeah, you guys are at different points in your life. I feel yeah. Like, yeah. You're at different Because it was like, what? Okay, so you're married. You have your own life. Like, yeah, like she has a family. Like, you need adult friends now. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not an adult, so. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I don't, I don't know. I have a little bit. In my head, I'm always going to be 16. Is that not always? Anyway, but um, her stop like not talking to you and then sleeping with her ex. It sounds like she kind of planned it. But it sounds like she slept with the ex while they were like still oh. friends. Like they were friends. She went through a breakup. Yeah. They were still friends, and while they were friends, she slept with the ex. Uh, yeah. and now she just is finding out about it. So she was like, never your friend. No. Never. Yeah. So that I think once you realize that, once that clicks, yeah, ten times easier. She was never your friend, and you deserve way better, better than that way better um <laughs> they're toxic not my fault yeah i feel like sometimes like it's okay i feel like with my friendship breakup it wasn't my fault not i don't feel like i know it wasn't my fault it was not my fault and i think she realizes now that like because i was talking to her like during that whole mm -hmm. thing i think she realizes how much of a dumbass she that was. guy was yeah. but i don't she's not gonna apologize which I'm not no, expecting to. No. I expected her to apologize. I actually never expected her to apologize. After we ended, okay, another thing, don't expect the apology from your old friend. You're probably not gonna get it. Like, yeah, honestly, and if, you're not gonna get it. And you will never get over it if you're like, in your head, like, they're gonna apologize. Yeah, because they're who not. Who cares? I was like, they yeah, are. like, who cares? You will live. <laughs> we all gonna move on. Oh. Oh, I asked when you felt like it was a time to let go. And then someone said like a year before it ended, which brings me back to, you know, you can always mm -hmm. feel it. There then, is such a shift. There's no way to explain it. Yeah, it's just kind of. It's just a shift. You're like, oh, we're not the same as we were before. Yeah, like, and that's scary to go through. Yeah. Because they're not scary, but it's like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, yeah. <laughs> it's going to end at some point. Because so. then you know, and then you kind of make it more awkward. At least for me. It's like, I know yes. that we're like, not being friends, so then I'm like. I don't want to talk so to So then you. I don't tell her anything. Yes. And I'm like, oh, And then whenever you're hanging out, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you can always feel it. I don't know. I feel mm -hmm. like you always can. When I felt like I tried to be with them. Yeah. That kind of brings back to the dog situation you were talking about. Oh. She was, <laughs> I was like, like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, because it was like, oh, I have to. Because at that point, you don't even feel like a friend. Like, you feel like a babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> Like, honestly, you just kind of feel like you're not really their friend. You're just someone that's yeah there to give them attention. To wrap this up a little bit, when the past is the only thing you guys have in common, it's time to let go because there's no room for growth. You guys are over. Don't regret any old friendships. You shouldn't regret your old friendships. They no. helped you grow into the person you are today. I feel like that's fine. I mean, you can think like, oh, I can't believe I was friends with her. But like, you know, like, don't discredit you were friends. everything. Yeah, don't discredit everything that you guys, because it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. So like, don't discredit That's the thing. That. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, so I'm about, we grow up, move on. Um, Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Make sure to tune in next week because we're going to be telling you what we wish we would have known going into high school. Yeah. So what we wish we knew going into high school as well as college because we have experienced both of them. But don't take any advice from us about college. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ask us how our classes are doing. Don't do that. Ask me when I last logged into Canvas. I'm still spring break. Spring break forever! Yeah! <laughs> Hopefully this, this week it's going to be up on Spotify too. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys were asking me about that. And... Sorry! It's hard, okay? It's a work in progress. We're not tech people. Okay? I'm not. We're not tech people at all. We're Don't trying our be. best. I never claimed to be a fighter. You know, Bryce Hall? No. <laughs> what is going on? Gracie will get my reference there. <laughs> she loves Bryce Hall, dude. Anyway. Anyway. She loves her TikTok boys. Bryce Hall. Noah Beck is, is my boyfriend. I can't wait to get famous. He's honestly not bad. I've been saying that. Okay, yeah, we get famous. Who's the first person? The like, first person I'm sliding in the DM. Like, <laughs> get me verified and I'm hitting him up. Noah Beck? Yeah. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Follow week. the Instagram and the TikTok. That's a threat. 
yeah mainly the instagram guys at the already over podcast i need you guys to do little thingies when i put questions little answers bye guys bye